Hi friends, how are you? I'm Hasib here. I want to show how to create a nice photo manipulation. Hi yo, are you ready? Okay, so I need just to photo some retouch. So just apply image, go to image adjustment and sorry image auto contrast and now I apply filter filter sharpen unsharpen mask just increase this size hundred okay and uh, just remove this spot so select a spot healing brush and increase the size just click on this spot area okay just it is this spot and now I need to crop this image uh, just apply some effect color auto color no this is good so just crop this image uh, ok now I need to apply this image apply effect uh, duplicate layer ok go to filter other high pass ok and this layer is mode is overly now it's look too sharp so merge this layer select this layer and merge layer ok now it's uh, too sharp ok <coughs> Now I just select this paint tool and crop these images. Okay. Uh, just select this uh, area and um, click right button and make selection. Just press OK. Okay. Now I need to uh, add a layer mask. Just click here and uh, now I need to refine mask I increase this brush size and just uh, apply this bare brush here and just here Okay, now it's uh, already clean and just uh, decrease shift is and just uh, okay, just press okay. Okay, now it's everything is okay and just select this uh, area, layer area, and uh, apply adjustment shadow and highlight just increase some shadow and highlight go to image adjustment to a level image adjustment uh, shadow and highlight sorry uh, image adjustment selective color uh, select red color and uh, uh, decrease yellow decrease black okay now I think it's good now I need to um, I apply background color so just uh, click uh, here and solid color background is white color now just drag this layer is blue okay just position it okay now it's uh, already cropped it I need to just uh, click right button and 
convert to a smart object okay uh, rasterize this layer I need a applying a filter uh, go to filter image nomic portrait tutor okay Okay, go to filter, uh, sh sharpen, unsharpen mask, just increase sharp option, go to filter, camera raw filter, um, select detail amount and sharp, it, sharp this layer and go to clarity and just increase black and increase white balance and decrease this saturation vibrance just uh, ok now apply cool effect ok I need to resize this image size go to image image size uh, 500 okay and uh, save this image file save as save this image is desktop okay now I need a brush create a brush and uh, go to file new uh, okay this is a new layer and type here select black color and type here okay uh, select a font and select this font uh, ok ok I select this area and go to edit define brush preset uh, 0 1 ok image I edit different brush 0 2 I just make a new brush mm. uh, just select uh, go to file and different brush preset 0 3 ok size in your designer just select this uh, area and different brush preset 0 4 C -R -E -T -I -V, creative and just select this area and edit uh, different brush brush 0 5 I am PSC impact um, edit TING editing. I think uh, it's need to be as previous font style. There's is good every font style is same. Zero six okay typography select this area edit define brush preset 07 typography many pull a tio and manipulation different brush pieces 0 8 YouTube Ines 
8 refine brush 0 9 ok go to brush and here is your brushes photo editing ok Then, okay, now I just uh, complete this uh, uh, brush um, brush part. Now close this uh, layer, and I just paste this uh, effect here. I need to color correction adjustment uh, level. Okay. Now I need to um, uh, apply this mask effect here. Okay and just uh, put uh, black color this hair just uh, already total image is masked and just go to select brush and select this um, brush and uh, yeah, select white color and just uh, click here it will be applied apply this effect ok and now I need to go to window uh, brush setting ok uh, click uh, check mark and here and uh, spacing is increase this spacing shape dynamic small jitter ok scatter ok Uh, just uh, uncheck this brush position just uh, ok it's done and apply this effect just uh, decrease your brush position and apply this effect ok now just uh, select other brush uh, designer select some area and apply this uh, designer brush ok uh, go to brush setting and apply this setting spacing Okay. Okay. Just click right button and click uh, YouTube. YouTube and uh, auto editing just uh, apply some uh, manipulation auto editing Okay. <sighs> okay. Now I need to uh, create a new layer and uh, hold alter and just uh, um, uh, put this color and apply this uh, brush. Hair, uh, hair, 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 and, uh, 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 okay, okay. 
okay okay now manipulate select manipulation just uh, change uh, different select different different brush and uh, apply this brush now Okay, now it's uh, n a new layer. Just uh, duplicate this layer. Okay, and just drag this layer is here and just create clipping mask and just uh, Ctrl T and increase this brush size. Increase this layer size. apply white color I mean uh, this is the layer control T ok now just create clipping mask on this shape here is your uh, images Now I think you understand uh, what I am, what I can do, and just apply some brush here. Go to brush, shape dynamics, digital. select this mask layer and apply this area sorry Just select this mask area and Okay, now I think it's uh, already done. So, guys, hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please subscribe my channel and like this video. Okay, thanks.